The world's oceans are mysterious, an underwater jungle filled with creatures and ecosystems unique in every way. Temperatures warm and cold, climates all their own. The ocean affects us in almost every way imaginable, from the type of weather we experience to the variety of food we eat. The seas hold answers to questions that directly impact the human race. Many mysteries have yet to be uncovered. Welcome to the Seymour Marine Discovery Center, located in the biologically rich environment of the Monterey Bay. The Seymour Center is about the three-fourths of the Earth's surface that's underwater. It's been said that we know more about the backside of the moon than we do about the bottom of the ocean, and there's a lot of truth in that. It's still true that the oceans are the last frontier of our planet. We practically have no knowledge of tremendous areas in the ocean or of its behavior. The ocean is where most of the organisms on this planet live. It produces most of the oxygen for the planet. It's probably the most important ecosystem. So as a scientist, I feel as if I'm doing very important work. And the Seymour Discovery Center provides an opportunity to show everyone, not just the scientific community, A, what goes on with respect to marine research and the kind of people that do it, and B, why it's important to everyone and not just marine researchers. The Long Marine Lab is home to scientists from around the world, here to study our nation's largest marine sanctuary. These scientists are a lot like you and me, but they're very curious about everything around them. While marine mammals may be exciting to watch, the Seymour Marine Discovery Center allows you to experience a wide spectrum of scientific careers. We're not only talking about marine geology or marine mammals or invertebrates, we're also talking about the people who study them and that there are incredibly interesting and fascinating careers to be had and that's a wonderful thing. Earth and marine scientists begin by asking questions that lead them to more questions and ultimately information they're excited about and want to share with you. Information and answers that could save the lives of animals near extinction. When I was a child, peregrine falcons were almost extinct. In 1970, we could only find two pairs in California. And just this year, the population has probably exceeded 200 pairs in California, and the federal government has taken it off the endangered species list. At the Long Marine Lab, scientists now track the renewed population of birds as they journey throughout North America. Being a scientist is a privilege, and they often work with organisms on a daily basis that most of us have only seen in pictures. Really what, it, what excites me is the, is the ability to look into nature and see things that no one else sees. You can study whatever question is interesting to you. Answers to questions about the ocean, like where waves come from and how the living creatures of the ocean communicate. You can put 20 watts of sound into the ocean off California. That's about as much as your hi-fi system has in your living room and we can hear it with no problem with detectors in Japan, in Hawaii, and Alaska, all over the Pacific Ocean. From microscopic to oceanic, tide pools to ocean depths, marine scientists are finding answers to new questions every day. Traveling around the world, they actively pursue their questions, observing from a distance or from close up. In this center, you'll be able to see, smell, and touch firsthand how a scientist does his or her job and why what they do is so important to protecting and preserving our coasts and oceans. We're at the University of California's Long Marine Laboratory. This is a research and teaching site that's part of UCSC's Institute of Marine Sciences. And the Seymour Center is the Marine Lab's public window. Seymour Center is a little like an aquarium, but different in that we're first and foremost a marine laboratory. Here at the Marine Lab, we pump seawater right out of the surf zone just at the base of the sea cliff here, pump it up where it's filtered and stored and then flows to the various laboratories where it's needed, like our marine mammal pools and our invertebrate biology laboratories, and also to the Seymour Center where it supports the invertebrates and fish that help us tell you the story about what it is we do here. I think one of the most exciting things about this place is that we have an opportunity to affect how people live their lives. 
The more you learn about anything, the better prepared you are to make good decisions about that. And I think that's, that's the unique part, uh, looking at the oceans from the viewpoint of a scientist and trying to get you uh, interested in, in the oceans and what they mean to us and why we need to protect and study them. Being a scientist is hard work, and testing the results they've observed in the field can take a lot of patience and time. Through years of observation and extensive testing, scientists' ultimate goal is to get their questions answered completely. The thrill is in the pleasure of finding something out. And there's an enormous rush when that happens. To make a discovery which no one has ever seen before gives you for that one moment the whole justification for being a scientist. Not all questions are answered, and it may take years of study to get even partial results. But these scientists know every day they go to work, they're making an impact on our Earth in a positive way. We may never understand all the mysteries of the sea and its surrounding coastline, but we hope that you will begin to understand and appreciate the hard work and dedication the scientists with the Seymour Marine Discovery Center put into making our world a better place to live.